안녕하세요. 안녕하세요. So, the bucket. What's this for? I just so they make useful bathroom. Could you show how you use? No, no. <laughs> it doesn't matter. <laughs> okay, right. Hello, Hi, my name is Chase, and I'm at the campground, and I'm going to give a little video about my uh, recreational vehicle pickup truck that I use for travel. And uh, first, I want to say that I love to travel internationally. Also, I've traveled to Korea, many places in in South Korea: uh, Busan, Pohang, Chennai, Seoul. Uh, Seoul about twice, Busan about four or five times. I used to live in Fukuoka, Japan, so. It's very easy to travel from Fukuoka, Japan to Busan. I would just take the ferry, and the ferry left from my neighborhood. So very easy to go over to Korea, and I always enjoyed that trip. But it's difficult to get around if you don't have your own personal vehicle. I notice I'm always having to take Ubers or taxis or any of that sort mm -hmm. when I'm traveling internationally, and you just can't see all the things that you want to see if you had your own vehicle. So. United States is such a big country, yeah, many, many thousands of miles long. Having your own vehicle to travel and see the United States is really helpful. You can go all those places that you just can't go as a tourist. But it's great being a tourist and being able to see the cities. But when it comes to seeing the countryside, I think there's a lot to offer in America and also up in Canada. And uh, where we are here, mostly it's a mix of Canadian and American travelers who are from these countries. Mm -hmm. who enjoy the wilderness right so here's what i use to travel okay this is the ford f-350 mm -hmm. and i use it um, mostly for going off-road mm -hmm. and you can see i've been on quite a few trails over the last couple days i picked these dirt uh roads they're previously roads for logging for the timber industry and then they they log trees and then they replant and they open the roads up for public use you mm -hmm. can go anywhere you want on most of those roads there's some with gates, but most are always open to the public. So um, I just, I use this here. And uh, the reason I chose the F-350 is um, it, it can handle a lot of weight. Mm -hmm. And my weight is very heavy. Um, I can give you the figure in pounds, but this truck weighs 10,100 pounds. The weight of the truck itself. Mm -hmm. Then I can tow more weight on top of that. Right. So it's, it's a lot of weight. I'm not sure the figure in kilograms, but... That's lots of weight. Um, and it helps when you go off-road. You don't have to worry about the truck constantly bouncing up and down. Mm -hmm. It's pretty solid. And um, it has lots of the springs down below. Yeah, lip spring. And you don't want too many springs because then it's just too much too of a bumpy ride. But a certain amount of springs is good. And these tires are just about done. I need to get new tires. Mm -hmm. They're good, but they're, they, they are losing traction. And this truck is also 4x4. Yeah. Very roomy truck. I sleep in the back, but... So you you sleep here? Sleeping bag. And pillows. Pillows. This is my clothes. Those I take out. Uh -huh. But when I sleep, just the sleep bag and then the pillows. Very comfortable. Uh -huh. You can make a bed. Why? Uh, it's okay for me. I sleep. I don't need a bed. It's, I sleep good. What do I... One more person want to sleep here? If another person, then yeah. I get a travel trailer. <laughs> <laughs> travel trailer. That's the next thing I will get. Not sleep together? Not in here, in the travel trailer. Yeah. <laughs> only one person only. <laughs> Fire extinguisher is important. Yeah. And the cheese. Of it, course. Cheese it's important too. Which one? Cheese it's. Yeah, yeah. right. <laughs> cheese yeah. cracker. Cheese it's. Yeah. Yeah. But and, um, uh, over here I have. Where is this. it? Is it a refrigerator? Yeah, two coolers. Coolers run. Yeah. These two coolers run off that battery. The fresh water? Yes. Probably have 25 gallons of fresh water. Yeah. I have more water back here. It's a lot. Then yes, you can stay gallons. seven days? Yes. Probably more. two weeks. Two weeks without having to yeah. go anywhere. Good. But, but no more than two weeks. But I can take water out of the river too. Mm -hmm. So The bucket. What's this for? I just store my things in there. And also, they make useful bathroom. Could you show you use? No, no. <laughs> it doesn't matter. <laughs> okay, right. I have the recyclable bags. Mm -hmm. And you just put the bags and line the bucket. So just like this. Mm -hmm. 
and these are biodegradable. Yeah. So, just like that. Mm hmm And then you can use it like that. And then when you're finished... Squat, squash? No. <laughs> no way. Okay, okay, okay. Just like this. Uh-huh. And it works perfectly. <laughs> All right, good. Perfect. Yeah. It's fun. Yes. Yeah. And, and then, the, uh, after. And then you take this uh -huh. and uh, tie it and then yeah. bury it. Bury it? Bury it. Bury it in the ground. You're not dumping? Or trash can. Oh. Several bags into the oh. trash can. Dump the trash can. Or you want to bury it. Mm. But the wilderness, you definitely want to bury it in the wilderness. Okay. So that, that ensures that, and it will de biodegrade. The bag is good for the environment. Right. And, um, It'll, it'll be gone through the natural processes. Where do I shower? Yeah. When... Every couple days, uh -huh. I go down to the state park. The state park has showers. State so you park? have your discovery pass. Yeah, it's the nearest shower. And you can use the showers. You don't have to camp there. You can use the showers whenever you want. How but, much do you pay? Uh, a couple dollars, a few dollars. And I have uh -huh. this here, mm -hmm. this for safety. And when it gets really cold, I do lots of travel in the snow. Right. Very, where? Very, where did you go? Uh, where been? Down in Oregon, off the Columbia River in Oregon, during the mm. snowfall. Lots of snow. Yeah. Three feet of snow. Right. Um, it can be very dangerous. Yeah. This is the first battery. Uh huh. Starting battery, then yeah. the accessories battery, and this connects to the number three battery. So one, two, two. and then a third battery. So That's three batteries. This is very powerful engine. A V8 6.2 liter, um, mm -hmm. almost 400 horsepower, and over 400 torque. So it's, it's like it's a big. race car engine. Wow! But it's made big. made yeah. for heavy, made for um, work, not for racing. But it's a very powerful engine. Also, it consumes gas a lot. Yes, but how much? It gets to miles to the gallon about 12. 12 miles 12 per miles gallon. 12 miles to the gallon. Yes. Right. But I don't drive often. This is a battery separator here oh. that just makes sure that my other battery charges properly. Mm -hmm. When you drive, battery is, uh, it charges this. Charges. The alternator here. Alternator, yeah. Charges that battery mm -hmm. quite a bit. Yeah. Just for nighttime wow. or daytime. They're nice and bright. So big. Yeah. Wow. How much is this, the beaker, the truck? Everything. The truck, the kit, yeah. 45,000 US dollar. 45, you bought a new one? Or yeah, it's new, yes, it's new. And then I have the light back here that I use. Mm -hmm. Beautiful, so beautiful, yeah. It's very easy to. Um, mm -hmm. it's Good. Why there are so many lights? For nighttime, if I'm For camping nighttime. out in the dark, hmm. just I just it's, I like to do that. The lights consume so your battery a much, lot. Though. Not too much. Not too much. Not too much. But see the voltage. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Sounds good. It runs very well. Yes. Yeah. Wow. Fans go. This is the voltage. Yeah, already. Now it's charging. Uh huh. Just so let me know that it's charging. It's for emergency. Uh huh. Very visible. You don't want a solar on the roof? I don't think I would ever need it because I'm here. It's oh. always it's cloudy everywhere I am. <laughs> I don't very. I always usually camping when it's cloudy or rainy. Mm -hmm. I don't camp in the sun. All right. Okay, Jason, thank you for using us your beaker. It's my pleasure. Thank you. Thank you very much. I'm glad you enjoyed seeing this.